If you've ever had to take your pet to the vet because of skin issues, you know that you are not the only one in that. In fact, certain conditions may be more common than you think. Today, we're joined by Jean Gould from Good Dog Mobile Grooming and Dr. Cliff Favor to learn a few helpful tips. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. So let's start with what, what kind of issues are we typically seeing with pets these days? It's very common for us to see bacterial infections, uh, fungal infections, and dry skin. Believe, me, believe it or not, dry skin can be the uh, precursor to many problems. Um, so I'd like to give you three tips today to avoid this happening to your pet. Sure. What is it? Okay. Okay, so first of all, if your pet's already suffering, after a proper vet diagnosis, your groomer can help you as well with regular cleansing and conditioning if they're using the right products and the right techniques. I use all natural based products and I use a, a spa for the dogs. Uh -huh. Okay, so the three tips are this. One, they need regular cleansing the skin dander drop starts to fall off after about three weeks, the life of a skin uh, cell. So three weeks, okay. Yeah. And then always condition your dog. Okay. If your dog's already dry, condition them before the shampoo as well as after. Oh, okay, okay. Right? And know that your pet's, your dog's skin is more sensitive than ours, and that's why they have so much coat. Don't shave that. That's their shield. Oh, interesting. Don't take it to the skin. Okay. So then, Dr. Favor, as, as dog owners, how do we know when it's time to come in and see the vet when our dog's scratching or doing whatever? Well, first of all, if they're scratching, more, more than likely they've got an issue on, on that. Um, but things like smells, skin debris, um, loss of hair, all those things are indications that we're having problems. And, uh, you know, a lot of the, 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 the problems can be uh, prevented if we use good routine care. And, and you know, that really depends on having a, a good groomer, uh, a good groomer that understands the science and, and how to take care of the skin, as well as using the right products. And unfortunately, a lot of times we're using the wrong products and actually creating the problem. Um, you know, a lot of the products are harsh. They're made to degrease the skin, which the oils are an important part of the protection as well as the hair. So if we take the oils off, then we have problems. And that's oh, okay. where, um, as Jean said, you know, you need to condition these dogs and using the right type of conditioners. Um, you know, a lot of the people use human conditioners or they use conditions that are emollients that just sit on the skin. They don't really hydrate the yeah. skin. Oh. And so then we start having problems and sometimes lifetime issues caused just by dry skin. So is it is not a good idea then to use products for humans on dogs? No. No, actually, the, the pH uh, of human products are usually around 4.9 to 5. Uh -huh. uh, dog skin and hair is about 6.5. So you're actually putting something that's fairly acidic on oh, a wow. uh, dog skin, which is fairly neutral because water um, is, is a pH of 7. So uh, dog skin's pretty close to that neutral mark. So the more okay. acidic we get, the, the worse we, we, we uh, uh, disrupt the, the normal uh, flora and, and health of the skin. It's interesting. All right. And I'm sure you want to remind everybody with this the hot temperatures to not walk the dogs on the concrete because the little pads, of course, can burn. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the, the temperature on that concrete, a lot of times, you know, I'm from Phoenix, we hit 117. So you can figure that uh, the, the temperature on the, the sidewalks probably up in the 130 to 140 wow. degrees. Um, wow. You actually can cook an egg on the sidewalk in Phoenix uh, when it gets to that kind of temperature. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Cliff Faber, and also Gene Gould, the owner of Good Dog Mobile Grooming out in the El Dorado Hills area. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for Thank having me. Thank you. All right. Take care.